What's going on guys? In today's video, we are back here in Uvita and today we're gonna to be exploring some of our favorite places that you can see here in Uvita, as well as some of the more popular weekend activities that you can get up to here. We're gonna be filming a few videos here in the Uvita area, but for today, this will just kind of be like a part one. So we're gonna start by going to the most popular place here, which is Marino Bajena or Whale Tail National Park. The National Park is actually home to lots of different animals, including whales, dolphins, sloths, monkeys, toucans, scarlet macaws, etc. So hopefully today we can see some of those, but let's stop wasting time. Let's get the show on the road. Sadly today, Lucas won't be coming with us and I think he's sulking a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. We made it into the national park now. For foreigners, it's about seven US dollars. I don't know how much it is for locals. Like two or three dollars. It's a much better deal. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been here before. How long have you lived in Uvita for? Three years. For three years, and yeah. this is your first time going to the whale tail. Yeah, walk into the whale tail is my first time. Nice, that's exciting. <laughs> it's kind of ironic actually that the shape of this place is in the shape of a tail of a whale because this place here is very, very popular for whale watching tours, which I've never done before and I think the season is ending now, but hopefully in the near future we'll be able to experience that tour as well. And I don't know how common it is, but in this little river behind me, I guess it's possible to see crocodiles and caimans. It's a little bit sketchy, but luckily I've never seen one here. <laughs> how you say crocodile? Crocodile. <laughs> Like like two weeks ago, that I always say say it wrong. <laughs> Stacy was just telling me about this other little river here that we just passed. The water there is kind of like a like a copper brown almost you could say. I guess the reason is because back here this is what they call like a manglar or mangroves I guess. All the water rushes down when it's high tide or after like a rainstorm and you get like this copper brown color from all the sediment and dirt that comes from the mangroves. So something I had no idea about is that this thing here is actually a living thing. It's a, it's a type of animal, I guess, almost like a starfish. In Costa Rica, they call it galleta de mar, or cookie of the sea. I don't know in English what it's called. I think maybe it's a sand dollar, but I'm not too sure. And speaking of cookies, we found ourselves a nice little spot here to have ourselves a breakfast. This morning we woke up pretty early and Stacy took some time out of her day to make us a nice little breakfast, a Costa Rican one. We're hiding under the trees right here, which is nice to get out of the sun, but also you should be a little bit careful sitting under these trees because uh, falling coconuts can, can be really hazardous. Yeah, <laughs> can kill you. just finished our very delicious breakfast. Now we're walking over to the whale tail here behind me. It's really hard to see actually. The camera is not gonna get a very good uh, shot of this, but an important thing to note is that right now is actually the low tide. We came out early today specifically so we could catch the low tide. I recommend if you're planning to come to the national park to go online and search up when the low tides and the high tides are because if it's high tide when you come here, you can't actually walk out to the whale tail and it kind of just disappears to be honest. Even the beach is quite limited when you come here on high tide. What I like a lot about this area is that because it's, it's like a protected area so you don't see like garbage or like people doing like damages to nature or like etc you know that's something that you see here in costa rica pretty much throughout the entire country is people really taking care of the nature and taking care of the cleanliness of course in the cities you're going to see a little bit of garbage but even yeah. after the uh the parade that we went to in mm -hmm. san isidro after all the performances went by and i mean immediately after yeah. you could see people going and cleaning up all the garbage and it's really cool to see that so. and it's an effort because like i've been before in the in that same celebration and see like the streets full of garbage yeah. but i think like now like everyone is more conscious about that and and even the government is is trying to also reinforce that Once 
once you get to the very tip of the whale tail here, you end up in a section that is completely just covered in rocks. This is the marker here at the end of the whale tail, or close to the end of the whale tail. I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert at this, but I believe that the rocks here kind of work as like a natural breakwater, and when the tides do come in, it kind of like prevents all of the water from going into the beaches here. If I'm not mistaken, again, I almost have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure that the whale tail is formed because there are two different tides that come in from different angles, and they've kind of created this landscape here, which is really fascinating, but I'm gonna have to do more research on that to see if that's true or not. I wouldn't normally be the type of person to just lay in a a small pool of water Oy. in rocks like this because there's all kind of critters, but uh, Stacy gets me out of my comfort zone, which is really nice. <laughs> We can hear some scarlet macaws right now somewhere in these trees. Stacy's gonna try to use her jungle girl magic to try and summon them. <laughs> Stacy's got us wandering through the mangroves now to try and find these scarlet macaws. Barefoot and everything, hopefully we don't encounter a snake. Oh. I think we found them. We found them. They're very hidden right now. It's not so easy to see them right now in the tree, but that's them right there. You can see the colors coming between the leaves. They're such beautiful birds. Stacy always comes prepared to go digging into whatever she finds. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. We'll see. I wish I had a machete. There is something that we call a sponge and that's inside of the coconuts when they're growing. Inside of the coconut there is like water and when, when it becomes like a little tree, like a palm, the plant like absorbs the water and it, it becomes like kind of a sponge and then eventually like it absorbs all the way, right? But if you take it like on this, when it's growing but it's, it's not like very big, it's still like absorbing can eat this punch let's see if it's good <laughs> it's very difficult usually have a machete with me i guess you can't bring machetes into the, no. into the national park <laughs> no. it's a it's like something not that no not everyone would like maybe it's a kind of the coconut like already fermented not that much but this is like very spongy it's like a like a cotton sugar cotton but it tastes like coconut. These are the kind of things that I would never know if I was doing this entirely on my own. This doesn't feel like something you should eat. It's very strange. Wow. It's literally like if coconut had cotton candy. Yeah, that's, I know. That's what it's like. <laughs> All right, I like it. This is how it looks inside. This doesn't make you sick? No, 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 no. No. It's like a little coconut breath clouds made of coconut mm. <laughs> it's literally never a dull moment when you adventure with stacy <laughs> <laughs> ourselves a nice spot here to chill a little bit and we found um, Oso Perezoso a slot take a look let me just say I have a newfound respect for people who climb palm trees because that was not easy and I literally only got to like right there so <laughs> I don't know how people do it but I gotta learn
One thing about Costa Rica, being a tropical country, and especially it being what time of year it is right now, it's uh, just kind of middle of October at the moment, is that the weather here is super unpredictable. As you can see, it was really beautiful this morning, and now you can see it's starting to cloud over. It's probably gonna rain in a couple of hours or so. We're thinking about going to uh, Playa Hermosa, which is the one right behind us here, but if it starts raining, I don't know. We might have to save that for tomorrow. Stacy's found the macaws. They're very close. Wow, that's so beautiful. about ready to finish up here at the beach and we came back to this little river in the beginning yeah. it's super refreshing what do you call fresh water in spanish Agua dulce. <laughs> sweet water <laughs> sweet water yeah, i kind of like it it's nice actually most days here is uh super humid and super hot but today it feels very refreshing because it's a little bit windier a little bit cloudier and the rain is actually coming in right now you can't see it so much behind me but in the distance you can see that it's raining so today's a very fresh day it feels like the perfect adventure we got to see all the scarlet macaws the water has been nice it's been a good one today so we're just about to leave the park here and we just noticed that there's like a little trail where you can visit a laguna. Neither of us actually knew about that. So good to know that if you're coming here when the tide is low, you can visit the laguna and follow a trail that goes all the way through the mangroves. And it's a good thing we didn't find cocodrilos. Crocodile. No. Oh my God. Crocodile. Crocodile. Eso. Eso. That's weird. It sounds weird like that. I like it, Coco Drive. <laughs> Feels kind of weird that you're the local here and I'm asking this question, but how was your first experience with uh, the whale tail? I think it's nice when you can see it like from above, of course, like in a view because you see like the whale shape, but it's nice. And you have a pretty nice view from, from there to like see old Chaman Beach and Hermosa Beach, which is very nice. This beach is the home for like red macaws. That moment where we said, so like 20 That's oh my cool. god it was awesome just started to rain a little bit hard so we've come to take refuge here at another popular thing to do here on a Saturday. We're here at the El Mercado which is the local market here and every Wednesday and every Saturday I think from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. they come here and they open up this pretty big space here where there's lots of different snacks, different foods, local items, arts and crafts, there's lots of really cool stuff here so this is one of Stacy's favorite things to do here in Cupita. One of our favorite things here about the market as well is the empanadas that they have. And I guess this style is called empanadas arreglados. Arreglada. Huh? Arreglada. Arreglada means like fix, like prepare, more prepared. So we open it and put like lettuce and spinach and different things. Like it's very nice. <laughs> we got the empanadas with carne or meat or beef. Highly recommend that if you come to the market here, I think it's called El Mercado Bahia Bajena. There you go. <laughs> I'll write it down in the description below. But definitely recommend the empanadas when you come here. They are fantastic. And Stacy wandered off, so I'm not exactly too sure what she got as a drink, but it looks delicious. But I got the lemon and mint, and it is so refreshing. They use all fresh ingredients here, and it tastes absolutely delicious. We just made it back from the market, and we were greeted by... <laughs> Two of our, our three puppies that we have left. Well, this doesn't look like a normal puppy right now, <laughs> I know.
And the last of the bunch here. Our dear Osa. She was hiding and came all the way running when I say Osa, Osa. She's so sweet. <laughs> As I mentioned in the last video, we are taking care of some puppies. I'm still not going to get into it too much because we do have a video coming soon, but stay tuned for that. And if you haven't yet, go watch our last video. All right, after a short break and a quick change and a little bit of a sunburn for both of us, we've decided to head to Playa Hermosa. The weather has changed. It's looking beautiful again. The rain is gone. And this time, Lucas is coming. <laughs> Vamos a la playa. Vamos a la playa. Welcome to Playa Hermosa. The name fits very well, but it does. La Playa Muy Hermosa. We've come here shortly after the highest point of the tide. Playa Hermosa is a famous place here for people to come surfing. And right now I think the tide is still a little bit too far in for it to be safe for surfers. And maybe it's also a little bit too hot at the moment as the sun is still right above us. But hopefully we'll stick around for a little bit. We'll see a little bit of the surfers come out as well. Yeah, the waves here are incredible. Check this out, guys. Macaws are around, and the macaws are right there. Yeah, Kyle spot the macaws. Guys, these ones are even closer than the ones we saw in the national park. Check this out. Oh, they're so beautiful. They look like decorations in this tree. lucky today. I wouldn't say that scarlet macaws are super rare to see, but I've never seen this many and I've never been that close to them before. And yeah, today I think we 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 had lucky like yeah. it's our lucky day. For sure. so many really really cool places that you can explore around these beaches without even realizing they're there like you can just go to the beach and just stay at the main area and never find these places but look at this I mean this is this is so cool this is uh, a river that's coming from somewhere I don't know maybe it's coming up from the mountains maybe a place that we visited in the past it enters into the ocean here and it's so so beautiful but there could be crocodiles so I'm not gonna spend too much time here <laughs> I feel like we partially did this just to say that we did it but Earlier today, we were all the way back there in the National Park, and now we've come all the way to this side. <laughs> the complete end of Playa Hermosa. We literally just saw a stick in the middle of filming that, yeah. and there's monkeys up there. I don't know if I'll be able to capture this, but they're pretty high up, they're pretty small. I think they're capuchin monkeys, or? Cappuccino monkeys. I think even Lucas can smell the monkeys. Look at the monkeys there. That's a monkey. Oh, that's so funny. He's going to go and attack the monkeys. Lucas is, is smelling the monkeys. Look. It's awesome. Like, we have been like encountering so many animals today and so close. Like, it makes me feel very proud of Costa Rica because it's like they don't fear us. You know, like they, they are chill with it. So we can like share the space. They probably observe us and we observe them. And it's just best feeling. Actually that is one thing that I think is one of my favorite if not my favorite things about Costa Rica and probably for most people that come here is that the connection to the wildlife here is just absolutely incredible and like Stacy said the animals of course there's a natural fear or respect for humans and same for us with them but they're everywhere we live together with them here in Costa Rica where in other countries I can't say that's the same you know I come from a country where we have a lot of wildlife and we live 
alongside them, but it's kind of in a negative way and uh, a more negative impact. In Costa Rica, of course, it's not perfect, but you get a little bit more of that respect. And, and I think that's a beautiful thing here in Costa Rica. Sadly, even in places like Costa Rica where nature and everything is very important, sometimes people don't clean up after themselves. Always make sure to clean up after a yourself. A lot of things already come from the sea. That's true. Know? So always if you visit a beach and you can take one piece of garbage in your garbage or like whatever you, you consume, it's also like very good. It's a very simple concept. Just leave with what you came with. It's that easy. All right, guys, the sun is pretty much gone now as the clouds are covering it. It's starting to rain, so we're gonna end the video here. Today's been a really fun day, actually, going out to the national park. We got to see way more birds than I was expecting, way more macaws, I should say, not just birds. Yeah. Highly recommend both. Playa Hermosa is, is kind of my favorite because it's free, but the national park is also a must visit if you're coming here. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll link both of our Instagrams down below in the description. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, ciao.